happening today, but today we had two hours to reproduce Daniel Wilson's hot dog. A delicious dish. Rishi? Great.
is a tick.
skinny, it adds texture to the curry. Alright? So let's kick along. Garlic and ginger. So we're just going to fry that off for a few seconds. So we get a nice smell from it. Next, four to five chopped tomato. Seeds removed. And that will start releasing a little bit of moisture and I'm just scraping that sediment off the bottom of the pan. Smells alright, doesn't it? Hey, ginger garlic is it's crazy. Okay, some spices. So, a lot of Indian curry. It's amazing. It's beautiful, it's quite chickeny. It adds texture to the curry. Alright? So, let's kick it off. Garlic and ginger. So, we're just going to fry that off for a few seconds. Just so we get a nice smell from it. Next, four to five chopped tomatoes. Seeds removed. And I'm just scraping that sediment off the bottom of the pan. So I don't know, is that ginger garlic in there? It's crazy. Okay, some spices. Two teaspoons of turmeric. And I may not put all that in. That's chili powder. Oh, yeah. Love chili. And the rest of our spices. Probably about four cups of six teaspoons of cloves. A tablespoon of coriander and a tablespoon so not a huge amount of spice. And then just smash those up. I'm not really going to mix the rice. So, beautiful. Smells good. In goes the onion puree. So you see what's happening? It's building up a beautiful kind of textural sauce. Thank you.
So, curry's cooked, looks delicious, smells amazing. I'm just going to do a little thing where I want to temper some spices and just throw it on the top just to kind of finish it off and give it that extra bit of pizzazz. Now, it does involve a little bit of oil, but it's okay. So, so just crush them. Sandwich. How hard could a club sandwich be? If it's a blue team, can make that a crunch again. 